追加カードガイド and useful tips サムライ・ジュンジロー・チャンネル Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we'll explain the essential item for your travel to Japan the Suica Card. The Suica Card is a rechargeable transportation IC card issued by Japanese railway companies. In this video, we'll show you how to get a Suica Card, how to use it, and some useful tips. This video will help you enjoy your trip to Japan more comfortably, so be sure to watch it until the end. First, let us introduce how to get a Suica card. In Japan, there are various rechargeable transportation IC cards issued by railway companies. Among them, Suica and Pasmo are particularly popular. Suica card is ranked first in terms of the number of cards issued with double the number compared to the second ranked Pasmo card, so we mainly focus on explaining Suica card. By the way, how to get and use them is almost the same. Alright, let's get a Suica card. There are primarily two types of Suica cards, but first, let's introduce how to buy a regular one. We'll buy it at Tokyo Station, which is frequented by a large number of international travelers this time. There are several types of ticket vending machines available, but you can get Suica cards with this black machine. The machine can be set to different languages. With the name inscribed Suica card, the money charged inside the card will be compensated in case of card loss. But the process of purchasing the card can be a bit cumbersome. The blank Suica card doesn't compensate for money charged in the card in case of loss, but the process of purchasing the card is easy. This time, we'll buy a blank Suica card. When issuing the card, there's a 500 yen deposit required, so the amount charged to the card will be deducted by 500 yen. When you insert money into the ticket vending machine, the card will be issued immediately. The other card is called Welcome Suica. This is a card for short term travelers with a usage period limit of 28 days, but no 500 yen deposit is required when issuing the card. You can buy it at various places other than Tokyo Station. Narita and Haneda Airport have dedicated ticket vending machines for Welcome Suica. By the way, Suica cards also have a dedicated version for children from 6 to 11 years of age, which offers half price train fares. You can't buy this card from the black ticket vending machines, so you can buy it by showing a passport at the counter for age verification. At Narita and Haneda Airport's Welcome Suica ticket vending machines, you can buy the Welcome Suica for children without the need for age verification with a passport. Please don't use this card if you are 12 years old and older, as it'll charge double the regular adult fare if used. You can recharge your Suica card at any of the pink, green, or black machines. This time, we'll recharge using the dedicated pink charging machine. Once you place the card in the machine, select the recharge amount you want and insert cash. Please be aware that when charging or issuing a Suica card, you can only use cash and not credit cards. You can smoothly board the train by tapping your Suica card at the ticket gate. It is convenient because you can board the train without having to buy a ticket every time. We don't recommend using Suica card to ride the Shinkansen because it requires various settings on the internet, which can be cumbersome. If you plan to ride the Shinkansen, we recommend buying your ticket at the ticket counter or ticket vending machine. It is possible to use Suica card at the station after traveling on the Shinkansen. There are areas where cards other than Suica card can be used, but Suica card is recommended because it can be used on most railways throughout Japan. 
By the way, if you plan to ride the Shinkansen frequently during your stay in Japan, we recommend the Japan Rail Pass. There are some Shinkansen that Japan Rail Pass can be used. But depending on your destination, you can travel affordably within Japan using the Shinkansen. The URL is listed in the description box. Suica cards can be used for coin lockers at stations. You can also use it at the vending machines located at the stations, so you can easily buy drinks without needing cash. In addition, you can use it at various places that have the Suica logo. You can get a refund for name inscribed Suica cards and blank Suica cards at the ticket office. Welcome Suica can be refunded. If you want to get a refund for your Suica card, they'll take out a 220 yen fee from your remaining balance and you get the rest along with the 500 yen deposit back. We recommend reducing your remaining balance as much as possible, such as at convenience stores, before requesting a refund, as there will be no fee if your remaining balance is 220 yen or less. At the ticket office, basic English is understood, and many staff members are friendly. By the way, Tokyo Station has a service called Pocket Change, where you can charge Suica cards with currencies other than Japanese yen. This is a very convenient service, so please use it. There are other locations besides Tokyo Station, so the URL is listed in the description box. There's also mobile Suica available, which allows you to put Suica card into your smartphone and use it. If you have an iPhone, you can use mobile Suica by selecting Suica from the wallet. You can use it just like a regular Suica card by charging it from your credit card. If you use the Google Pay app on Android, you can use mobile Suica. For Android, please check if your smartphone's Google Pay app supports mobile Suica as there's a possibility that smartphones purchased outside of Japan may not be compatible with it. The optimal Suica service may vary depending on the duration of your stay and the mobile device you have. Choose the service that suits you best and have a more comfortable trip to Japan. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.